Um, we're always looking for and thinking about what's next. And we do have some ideas that we're tossing around, but again, we're not quite ready to share those today. <laughs> what's going on boys? And welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing something different. We're doing something that I have never gone over before. We're looking at a potential ARC DLC map that is coming to the game. And now this has already received some publicity from the developers. And it's not like the modded maps that are already created and they have a whole separate theme to them. This map is based around ARC itself, but in a whole different aspect. And this is so new that I feel like it is going to be the next DLC. Other YouTubers have made videos on it. It is a huge topic at the moment and I wanted to cover it and let you guys in on the secret. So anyways, I am on my computer here now and you can see that there is this game suggestions like folder tab forum thingy majiggy and pretty much in this game suggestions forum, you can post all different types of things that you really want to come to the game. So in the past, let me see if I can find it. Uh, if you do post in this game suggestions uh, forum, the developers will see it and they go over it all the time. It was created by the developers and they go through, they look at all the ones that are the most popular and that are getting a lot of publicity and then they post it in the community crunch. And it's just proof that these developers are looking at it, thinking about it, and they're thinking about, you know, making big moves, guys. So like you saw in the intro to the video, that clip from a developer live stream, they're looking for some new things to come to the game and a DLC is on their radar for 2019. It's already almost halfway through the year, boys. Something good has got to be coming. So right here you can see, this is the game suggestions roundup. So like I said, they pretty much go through all of the game suggestions and bring out all the most popular ones. And the thing is, they've already implemented some of these things. And that is why I am so, so certain that there's going to be a new DLC coming to the game this year. And it could be the one that I'm going to go over in today's video. And they're most likely going to include this new DLC theory or concept in the next community crunch because it's getting a lot of publicity. So anyways, pretty much they added one in about PVP and PVE balance. They're going to be separating all the updates that they do. So now it doesn't roll over for both PVP and PVE. Now they're both going to be separate updates. Also another YouTuber named Loaded Crisis. He also made a another suggestion and he was suggesting adding in new dinosaurs and the TLC every few months so he really wants the dinosaurs to be updated and them to have a little bit of a revamp so that's what he's going for but anyways that's just some proof that they do add in the things that they you know that they see from the community so let's go over to the game suggestions as you can see the top two separate PvP and PvE balances and then loaded crisis thing both of those were added in to the community uh, crunch the other day so that's good and the thing is there's a lot of different like things in here that people are creating and most of them they aren't getting a lot of publicity a lot of people are loving them and you can upvote it and all that stuff kind of like reddit so another one is the oceana dlc it has like hundreds of views and pretty much this concept of having an ocean dlc has been floating around for months now like there was something posted on reddit a few months ago talking about it and people loved it it was trending on reddit for arc survival it was just popping out and now it looks like some more people are talking about it and this is pretty much a roundup of all of the ideas and the best things that could come to this ocean dlc and they went through a lot someone made this entire thing and um Whew, it is crazy boys it is crazy so one of the new things that they want to add in to this arc dlc or the oceana or oceanic do i keep calling it oceana i think i called it at like three times i don't know anyways pretty much they wanted to add in new bosses so as you can see they have a couple of bosses here the giant electric ray it's summoned down near the element river it shoots lightning at you and it summons mantas to aid in battle that would be crazy boys the uh, freaking mantas are insane and so hard to kill the king whale uh, the Kraken, which is already in Atlas, I believe. You can find the Kraken. So if they add that in the arc, that'd be dope. The Giant Shark and the Levethian. So the Levethian is already in the game once again. And last time I checked, that is a fly, like a flying creature. Levethian arc. Am I crazy or? Nope, there it is, boys. Yup, I'm not crazy. I am not crazy. 
but it looks like this bad boy could be coming in I don't know why it's in the sky but I guess it is a boss so anyways if they did make this oceany ocean oceanic oceanic if they made this oceanic DLC it would pretty much be revolving around the ocean and everything that the ocean has to offer so all the bosses would be you know some type of water creature and just a bunch of things are gonna be revolving around it so let's look at some locations so the underwater tech city it looks like they want to have a city underwater they want to add in an abyss a trench some refugee island a coral reef a swamp a mangrove swamp giant iceberg underground cave system pretty much all of these locations are underwater or have something to do with water in general and that's why i think that an oceanic dlc would be something new to the game and it'd bring a ton of people back to arc trust me so like they added in 20 different potential locations for this like these are just like spawn points and different like I guess places that you can go on the map, different biomes, just all that stuff. They want an underwater forest, seagrass plains, a kelp forest, um, a whale and ship graveyard, element crevices, or crevasse, crev, crev, sandbars, giant underwater air pockets, and just stuff like that, boys. A ton of stuff relating to water and the ocean in general. And the main thing that I found so freaking crazy was the creatures so these people who made this like i said they got different input and uh, suggestions from everyone else in the community and they put it into one post correct me if i'm wrong but uh yeah they put a lot of time and effort into this so anyways let's look at some of the creatures here so the sea hydro wyvern Oh my god, that sounds crazy. An aquatic-based wyvern suited for water-based habitats can shoot a scalding hot hydro blast that can piece armor and inflict a scalding effect heating up the victim and causing health loss. Oh my god. Yo, they put a lot of time into this. They put a lot of time and thought into that. That is crazy. A freaking sea wyvern, boys. Imagine that came in. They wanted sea drakes, something like a rock drake. A sperm whale, a giant whale found dwelling in the deep abyss and shift graveyard. The Dacosaurus, or the Dacosaurus. A large sea reptile related to the Mosasaur. It can barrel roll in the water, sending anything contacted flying. Whew, that thing sounds crazy, boys. I've never heard of that. What is that? Um, you know what? I kind of want to look up some of this. Are they just making these up or are they actually... Yeah, this is an actual thing. Like, they went ahead and looked up actual creatures and did, like, research on them. Oh, that thing looks crazy. The Predator X? Referred to as the sea equivalent of a Giga, this literal monster is said to be untamable, yet few have succeeded. Due to their high aggression to even their own kind, only one will exist on the Ark at a time, able to grab onto creatures for a few seconds, giving it time to use its thrashing attack. Okay, alright, don't want to get copyrighted by freaking, what is this, BBC, wow, they are definitely going to come after me, I swear if they strike down this video, I will be so triggered, okay boys, that thing is crazy, a Predator X, you just saw it there, whoa, that's an actual thing, Ancient Predator X Sea Monster gets official name, yo, Okay, boys, so when I was recording this, I just figured something out. So this apparently is a Levethian, but then I went over and I found this. The same exact thing, Levethian by Caroline uh, Lahais, I believe. And it's the same exact thing, but it's in the water. Not the same thing, but it's like the same type. So what I'm saying is that I think I got my facts wrong, and this really is a Levethian, at least a water Levethian, and this is like a sky one sorry that's probably very confusing what i just said but anyways there's a ton more uh helicoprions a shark with a strange feature the shark has a buzzsaw looking structure to its mouth the archleon the rubber the giant gulper eel gulper ear <laughs> that's kind of funny 
Garothorax, blah, 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 a ton more stuff. I can't go over all this, boys. They have a ton of freaking creatures here, but I just went over all the ones that had the most, uh, I guess, definition, or not definition, but description to them. So if you guys want to check this out, once again, just type in Oceana DLC Arc Survival, and it'll come up. It'll be the first thing. But they added in some more stuff here, some items, hide flippers, I guess, because this is going to be like an ocean map, they need flippers that is easily accessible for everyone. So hide flippers. Uh, small large platform sub rebreather new saddles aquatic guns element pump waterproof structures primitive goggles hydro pack flipper attachments coral metal vacuum chambers what shocking trank harpoon so all of the stuff here uh the creatures the bosses the items everything's based around this new arc ocean dlc so people really want this guys i think it's pretty cool i do think so as well that they're going to be adding in the modded maps into the game for example valgaro i went over that in the past um crystal isles uh there's a ton of other modded maps out there or maybe they will create a brand new map from scratch. Maybe they're working on one right now and they're just not talking about it to the public because they don't know when it will be finished. If you haven't already, make sure you cop some merch. Oh my God, you guys killed that merch like crazy. We sold out of um, extra large, large. I think we have some mediums left. We have a lot of mediums and smalls left. So if you want to go cop some, look down in the description. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video, hopefully soon. Peace.